Most women think that I don't have a family history, I don't have a mother or a sister with breast cancer. Well, actually, by having high breast density, your risk is higher than if you had a mother or a sister with breast cancer. So women don't talk about that, but it's something they need to recognize. And then the second issue with breast density is, is that because uh, the fibroglandular tissue, the main element of the breast, uh, is white on the mammogram, cancers are also white. And so it's like trying to find a snowball in a snowstorm. You just, it's gonna be hidden. We're not gonna find it. And so in those patients, we find uh, cancers much later. They're difficult to treat. The patients often don't do well. And these are the patients that we, we believe are dying from breast cancer. So we believe that women need to know, just as they know their cholesterol or their blood pressure or their um, the blood type, they need to know what their breast density is so that they can have the appropriate screening. Um, and we have, as I said, many tools available to find these additional cancers in patients who have high breast density. When you're relying on the tomosynthesis, the image to determine density, I, th I think it can be a little difficult because you're looking at lots of images and more difficult to decide in your mind what breast density is there and give it a number. So I think Vulpara is really helpful in that regard so you don't have to worry about how much fibroglandular tissue are you seeing as, as you look through some 30, 40 uh, tomosynthesis images. A 2D mammogram is like putting a loaf of bread between two plates and taking an x-ray image of it, whereas tomosynthesis is taking that same loaf of bread, slicing it, and now looking at each individual slice. So if you have something hidden in the center of that loaf of bread, it will be very hard to see it if all you have is that big loaf x-rayed as a total one object. Whereas if you get that slice right through that thing in the center of the loaf of bread, you are going to see it. Volpara takes the raw data that we generate um, and our 3D mammography images and objectively calculates the breast density. We have found that that has helped significantly to improve inter-observer differences. When we were just doing our 2D images, that Volpara was very good at assessing breast density. Um, we have found that it is equally good at assessing breast density now that we are purely doing tomosynthesis on patients. By using Volpara, we feel that we have an objective measure of what their actual breast density is, better than what we could do visually. 